Hi guys! So I'm going to be doing a video for um, the event that I'm going to tonight, the AER, the AIR, Walk for Style event that I'm going to, Bear Study, all over the lid. And last year I met Victoria Styles on Twitter and she was short one makeup artist for the event last year and she asked me and I was like oh uh, okay so it's the second annual showing or event I should say so I'm really excited when Victoria asked me again to do it this year so I'm kind of half ready this is my hair these are my earrings for the event but the shirt is different because I'm actually wearing a dress um, with leggings. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Well, I guess I'm already started. I love Bear Study because of the built-in shimmer, built-in highlight. I do have Pantoli, and, you know, that's what I use, um, as a case if I'm doing a matte look. I already filled in the brows, and I'm in the bathroom, of course, so half of the stuff, like, I left my brow pencil out there to fill in after. I left my, um, uh, Prep and Prime mascara, uh, with my Prep and Prime lash primer out there. So, I'm gonna skip those parts of the video, but we'll put the interesting parts on. So this is the grease paint stick in that came out with Style Black. So this one is the one that has a touch of purple in it. Um, new ones are on counter and in store now. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. I'm working tomorrow, so that's when I'll be able to pick it up. So I'm super excited about that. Um... The pencils, I'm really excited about the colors too. Industry, industry and um, almost noir, I think are my favorite ones. So I'm just taking that grease paint stick and just blending up. This is going to be a soft, like, day to night smoky eye. Um, because I am going to be working backstage, they tend to... Um, I tend to, I should say, I tend to not want to put too much makeup on. I, you know, because it's funny. Uh, I don't remember who told me this. Honestly, I don't remember who told me this. Um, but I find that some of the models will shy away from you if you have too much going on because they think that that's the only way you know how to do it. So I'm using my Inglot palette. And I'm going to be using this color right here, the light gray one. And you know, when I do my light, when I do my dark smoky eyes... Oops, I skipped this back. When I do my dark smoky eyes, I always said, I like to start from top to bottom. So I'm using vanilla pigment, and I use just whatever is in the cap. If you don't have any in the cap, just shake it up. Shake it, and then use whatever's in the cap. And I'm using the angled brush. And I'm just getting that highlight. Just getting the highlight. Getting the highlight a little bit above the crease. I also put down Illuminate Eye Base at the beginning. So I hope this video, I hope this angle, I hope this camera and lighting is very good. Um, I hope not too good because you know the more megapixels, <laughs> the freaking better your skin better be looking and I know for a fact that my skin is not too hot to chat today. Um, but it's okay. It was one of those weeks where on Sunday, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw that I tweeted about using old lip products like eyeshadows, pigments, blushes, face powders that are dry. You know, you, those can last a really long time. Now, your lip products and your mascaras and your eyeliners, any wet products, those are the ones that you really should get a rid of within a year, depending on how much you use it or what have you. Just toss them because 
I mean, I have sensitive lips as it is, so I should have just left it alone, but I used a, um, I used one that I really should have just said, oh, I saw, and I was like, oh, it's pretty, I haven't used it in a while, and I should have just been like, well, if I didn't use it a while, it probably means something. This is 217 into that light gray color, and this is going to go with the crease, and this is all going to be blended, blended, blended. So, the kitties, I mean, because I'm in the bathroom, the kitties are not really bothering me. One, because my husband is doing something out there with power tools, and you know boys, so they're like all about it. And then, um, the next thing is, I think they forgot that I went in here, because the TV's on, and I'm not complaining, let me tell ya. I have to go out of frame for a second, I have to get it really close, I can't see. One disadvantage of being in the bathroom, I can't really see that well, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to take a doe foot and just kind of blend it. Into the vanilla and down a little bit. I'm going to take that same brush, clean it off a little bit, and go into that dark gray. Dark gray. And I probably won't have the numbers, but I did do a video last year, uh, probably in November, because I got it on Halloween, so, um, I'll link it to this video, and you'll be able to find out the numbers that I used. To me, this is a great idea of a, of a, like, a daytime smoky eye. A daytime up top to bottom smoky eye. One thing I learned, I've been learning is my idea of one thing is not the same as someone else's. So, and this is not a regular smoky eye that I do. Normally my smoky eyes are light on the lids. Light on the lids. Deeper in the crease, and then have a liner, heavy liner. All right, so that's the top, and I'm just gonna take that angle brush that I actually put vanilla on with, and I'm gonna go into that. I have a little bit of the Luminae Eye Base underneath, and going into that dark silver color. I have to go out of frame for a sec. Actually. The camera moves. I think, I hope that's in frame. And on my cheeks, I have Max Dirty Plum. Alright. I'm actually going to take the 217 brush into the dark, dark purple that has shimmer in it. Excuse me, oh, is that the purple? I'm just going to go over the outer corner. Outer corner into the crease a little bit. I'm telling you, purple's my go-to color. If I'm doing anything kind of big, or, you know, not even kind of big, big, or just exciting, I go to purple because I know, I love how it looks on, I know I'm comfortable in it, I know I love, oops, oh, that wasn't too out of purple, I know I love any kind of purple shade, I can, I feel like I can make it work, so, you know, I really love using purples, even if it's just a touch of it, so just that little touch of purple, and to me I just feel like extra, comfortable, extra confident. Then, so the eyes are basically done. Um, liner. The lower lash line, um, I'm going to use the uh, PowerPoint eye pencil engraved. 
I love this liner for the lower lash line because it doesn't budge, doesn't move. Once you put it on, it's there all day. And I'm just going to pull down a little bit. And unfortunately, I'm back to the good old days of not being able to edit my videos. So this is just going to be a long video. But I already did the blush. So it shouldn't be that bad. All right, then I'm going to use the Fabu liner that I got from Walgreens, $2.99. I'm sure you can find it. I find it next to the Jordana line or the Sinful Colors nail polish line. Um, try this. It's really good. So I'm just going to... Move the camera. <laughs> I'm just going to line the top lash line. Now, if this lid was black, a matte black or a sparkly black, I wouldn't line because it's just overkill. There's no reason I feel to line. I feel like there's no reason to line a, um, a smoky eye that has a dark, dark, uh, black lid or a dark gray or dark green because unless you're doing the exact same color in the liner it's you're not even really tell so it's just going to kind of be two different textures um unless that's the look you're going for but i kind of want a classic look and since And since the, um, whatchamacallit, what was I going to say? Oh my god. Okay, since the lid is not so super dark, since the lid is not super dark, I don't have to um, worry, so I can do the liner. Alright, so now let's get on to the lips. Like I said, I can't edit it. I'm trying to do really fast. You're not watching me too much dead space, but happens. So I do have Dirty Plum on already, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, do that normally. And I actually use a little bit of, what is this, Revlon Color Stay powder because I have this is called suntan matte comfort is already packed in my kit so so that's what I would normally use but it's in my kit I used skin stuff but my kit is already um packed and just short of being in the car Okay, so chestnut, of course, chestnut liner, and Viva Glam 2, it's a nice, it is a satin, which is a step up from being matte, so there's not a lot of shimmer, it's just a lot of color. And for me, for my skin tone, it has almost like a pink undertone blend. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're daring, not even daring, if you want to go out like this, it's fine. I'm going to add a little gloss. And this is the Bling Black, which honestly, I want to use sparingly because I really like this color. It really transforms, it really transforms the look, gives it a, um, it deepens it a little. So if you find that, um, 
um, Viva Glam 2 is too like light for you, go ahead and try um, putting a bling black or a um, totally in the opposite spectrum, but like um, an ample pink or like a light, a uh, deeper pink tone, maybe, um, you can do so much with it, I mean, it goes with, obviously, they all go with all skin tones, but I just find that it's, you know, a very nice color to use, so that's really the look, that's really the look, um, the timing is perfect, I'm done, and my husband's friend just came in, you might want to blot this a little bit, because sometimes when you get, you'll get that, like, you know, lip gloss sticky thing. I think I put a little bit too much on. Alright, so that's the look for today. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll be, of course, vlogging from the bus, vlogging from the events, and um, taking tons of pictures, so I'll be able to do a slideshow picture, 